Hi, I'm Ken Campbell, and today I want to sketch a very simple room over top of a 3D grid in one-point perspective. I make lots of sketches like this to work out drawing and composition problems, working largely from imagination. They are quick to do, and with a simple five-value grayscale palette, I can avoid typical perspective mistakes and move on to painting more quickly. Follow along to create your own sketch. Once I've created the grid for the building structure, as I did in the last lesson, I can then accurately sketch the building. And, at the same time, I can easily edit that structure and add objects, floor and wall coverings, and figures to give scale and unique character to the place. To review, let's look at the grid I just made. We followed the plan view. We used the measurement scale of one quarter inch equals one foot and made the floor dimensions 16 feet wide by 12 feet deep and we made the ceiling height 10 feet tall. We measured every two feet in three directions to create a 3D grid. We set the horizon line at five feet above the baseline which is a common eye level and we set the vanishing point off center to the left. Now I want to customize the grid to complete my vision of this room. So here are my edits and additions used to create the reception room theme over this grid. For convenience here I am working on a photocopy which I do when I want to try a bunch of different versions of a drawing and I am sketching with ballpoint pens to make it easier to see my lines. First I am editing the shape of the room by using the grid, I'm adding some ceiling lights, evenly spaced. I'm adding wall art, again evenly spaced. and then creating passageway cutouts in the walls. In the front of the room, again I'm using the grid to add a large reception desk that measures 4 feet wide by 6 feet long by 3 feet tall. Then I'm making all important lines bold.
And it's around this desk that I'll add three figures to provide scale and context for the reception theme. It's critical to scale each figure correctly to fit in its chosen location using the grid. Note that each figure is eight heads tall and all eyes are located on the horizon line. Using vine charcoal, I'm mapping out a very simple tonal plan to help shape the room. Note the simple tones, like the loose line work, are not intended to be definitive, but rather suggestive. Then finally I'm adding some poster art on the back wall, in this case daisies, and doing just enough touch-ups to explain my concept without going overboard. Remember, this is a concept sketch only, the detailed rendering comes later. To get the hang of things on your first sketch, follow this demo and make a grid and simply copy the sketch onto it. Then for a second sketch, I recommend you make another grid, then make a new sketch with your own ideas. For example, instead of a reception, you could sketch a coffee shop with a counter instead of a desk, and a poster of coffee and donuts on the back wall instead of flowers, and so on. Use your imagination. The goal is to get you to use the routine of making a grid of construction lines that will guide your final sketch. 
Over time, you will get faster and learn to take shortcuts. For example, you may build simpler grids when you anticipate where you need your construction lines and leave them out where you don't. One final thought. While I designed a composition here I'm happy with, I always remember that the design process is iterative, and I'm constantly considering new ways of looking at how to tell a story differently. In this course, I've introduced my approach to making one-point perspective sketches for architectural themes. The goal has been to learn how to make rough designs that are realistic enough and ready to be turned into finished paintings. By studying each lesson and completing the projects, artists will learn these basic techniques. Practice and repeat so they become second nature. Thanks for watching. I hope you found something here that you can use in your studio. To learn more about my tutorials and streaming art courses, check out my website at kencampbellfineart.com. We'll see you next time.